Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and in today's video I want to show you a cool little instruction that you'll find in CCW for the Micro 800. It's called the reverse coil and it makes programming kind of easy in certain instances. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So over here we're in our program from the last video and I am going to um, come over here and disconnect because we're already connected. Okay, and let me go ahead and add a branch in. Excellent. And now let's put a reverse coil in for, let's use output number three. So we'll go to I.O. and output number three. Excellent. So let's go ahead and build it, make sure we don't have any errors. We don't. So let's go ahead and download it. Okay, we're online. You can see the reverse coil is already on because I'm not pressing push button number four. And you can see the blue light is already on. And if I do press the button, you can see when I press it, four comes on. When I release it, three comes on. And uh, I just want to show that because if you're used to using, uh, you know, RSLogix 500 or RSLogix Micro, you may not be aware of what a reverse coil does. And with that, that's the end of this video. If you thought it was helpful, please give me a like and subscribe if you want to know about my future videos. And if you'd like to learn everything you need to know, the program, the Nano PLC, the Micro 800 line of PLCs, then check out my course over at nano-basics.com. And if you'd like to support me and help me create more free videos and blogs over at the Automation Blog, and help me remove ads from all of them, then consider pledging a dollar a month over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And until next time, peace.